Hi, it's David Allen with TipsyTexan.com. We're here live at the Brava House Bed and Breakfast in the historic Clarksville neighborhood of West Austin. And we're going to settle a great debate here today. In Austin, Texas, what's the best drink in town? It's the margarita. Where's the best margarita? I'm not going to go there. Everyone has their opinion about which restaurant or bar has the best margarita. And I'll probably disagree with you because the best margarita in Austin is at your house. And today, we're going to show you how to do it. There's three ingredients in the best margarita. And if you get the right three ingredients, you're not going to mess up this drink. The first one, of course, is the tequila. I like to use Pepe Zavala Z Pepe tequila. It's not made in Austin because, by definition, tequila has to be made in Mexico. But it's owned by a local Austin company. The other ingredient that you need is an orange liqueur. An orange liqueur is going to add sweetness and an orange flavor and really balance out the drink. The one that I prefer to use is Paula's Texas Orange. It's made right here in town. It's local. The best uh, commercial, commercially available brand is Quantro. Quantro, $37. Paula's Texas Orange, $23. You do the math. The classic margarita consists of tequila, lime, and orange liqueur. That's it. If you put anything else in it, it's not a classic margarita. If you don't put those ingredients in it, it's not a margarita. We're going to do one and a half ounces of 100% agave platinum tequila. Then we're going to go and do three quarters of an ounce of orange liqueur. I like to use the Paula's because it has a big, bright, fresh orange flavor and it's made right here in Austin. The third important ingredient is lime juice. Like I said, no margarita mix allowed, no sweet and sour allowed, no roses lime juice allowed, no funky powder that you have to add water to. We're going to use fresh limes. There's no substitute for fresh. People tell me sometimes, I don't have, to, I don't have there's not enough time to use fresh lime juice. And as far as I'm concerned, if you don't have time to do fresh lime juice, then you don't have time to drink a margarita. Fresh lime juice is not an option. So three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. If we went ahead and shook this right now, that would be a really kind of traditional classic margarita. Most people are used to a little bit of a, of a sweeter flavor. So I'm just going to add a couple drops of agave nectar. You could also use simple syrup or whatever your sweetener of choice is, as long as it's not sweetened well. It's another ingredient that you replace in the cocktail. And just take it like you So I've got a glass full of ice. And I'm going to strain this refreshing summer treat. And then you have it, the classic margarita. The best way to make margarita is to do it at home. Good tequila, Paula's Texas orange, fresh lime juice. Adjust those proportions till you get it to the way you like it. There's no substitute for fresh quality ingredients in a great margarita.